Hey guys, so today is our One Piece World Championship. This is the second round and it will be the European champion Rail Zero from Croatia playing Zakazuki. Versus the Asia champion from Malaysia, Goran, also playing Zakazuki in this mirror matchup. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so it looks like Rail Zero will be going first. Looks like he's starting with the Sakazuki leader effect, discarding and drawing one card, and then passes it back to Garan. Also reciprocating and using Sakazuki effect, discarding Hina and drawing another card, and then passes it back to Rail Zero. With three active Dawn, he's going to start off by swinging to face. Garan takes the hit and goes down to 3 health. Plays uh, Abinu, searching for 3 now. Looks like he's grabbing uh, Hina. And then looks like he will most likely use the Sakazuki leader effect once again. There you go, discarding Hina and then drawing another card. It ends his turn, passing it back to Goron. With four active dawn, he's swinging to face first. Rail zero takes the hit with no trigger. And then plays a Kuzan for four dawn. Using leader effect and drawing a card, discarding one, which looks like a Sanji's peel off, and passes back to real zero. With five active dawn, what will he do with five active dawn here? Looks like Sakasuki effect leader is uh, first news. Discarding and drawing a new card. Most likely I have to build the board, but it looks like we're attaching one Dons and swinging to face first for six. Goron takes the hit and is down to two life. Barcelino is now played for four Don. And then passing turn back to Goron. Looks like we're at six Dawn. And Ahina is used, or I guess a discard. Most likely, we'll have to try to remove the Borsalino, the blocker. Perhaps a great eruption into a Hound Blaze, perhaps? We'll see what he's cooking up here. Looks like he's mapping some, some stuff out here. It should definitely start getting spicy here. It looks like a great eruption is used. Minusing two off of Barcelino. Two more Dawn is being used for a Helm Blaze and KOs the Borsalino. Or I guess brought to bottom deck. Swinging five to face, minusing uh, Ibinu. Looks like it is countered out with an air Borsalino. Swinging Kuzan to face, taking the hit down to two life. Using Sanji's peel off, drawing two and discarding two. Or just drawing two, I guess. And then it's passed back to rail zero. Mm. 
mid game it should start getting pretty spicy here it should uh really pick up with all the removals and spells Looks like seven active dawn using the Sakazuki leader effect, discarding one, drawing one. Definitely will have to try to remove that Kuzan since his effect is pretty powerful. Looks like he's considering using three Dawn here. Still mapping some stuff out, checking his trash. All right, three Dawn is attached and swinging to Guzan for eight. Takes the hit and Kuzan is dead. Plays his own Kuzan for four Dawn. And then passes back to Goron. Alright, with 8 Dawn, what will he do here? Will he be trying to build a board or will he tr be trying to move, remove that Kuzan also? Abinu is first. Alright, searching now. Looks like a peel off, a Kuzan, and a Tashiki. Takes the Tashiki. Using attaching Dawn is swinging to face for six. Counters out. Using another Dawn and playing a great eruption. Most likely minusing out on the Kuzan. Uses a Bunu here and plays a Rob Lucci and Kazo both. The Kuzan and the uh, Brinu. And then cycles three Sanji's peel off to the bottom deck. All right, passes back to rail zero. And he is currently at nine dawn. Each player currently still has two life. Rail Zero has no board right now, which is cleared out. Bree News played, searching. Uh, looks like a Hina is taken. Goron wants to take a look at the trash there. We'll take a look and see how many cards are in there, how many counters, how many Rebecca's. It looks like a swing to face for five from rail zero. Considering if he wants to take the hit in or counter it out. Looks like it is counter with a Sabo. Kina is now played. Into a Rob Lucci. And both characters are KO'd. The board just swung pretty quickly. And it is passed back. All right, 10 Dawn. No board versus a Hina, a Rob Lucci, and a Brinu. Right, swinging first to face for five. Rail Zero takes the hit down to one life. Abinu is being played again for two, so we're searching again. And it looks like uh, Suru is being taken. Rail Zero requesting to look at the trash there.
All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Most likely the Hina Luchi combo is coming up again. Uses the leader effect cycling a card. Plays the Rebecca. Pulls a Luchi from trash. Plays the Hina. Minus out Luchi and Luchi's it. And Hina and Luchi are now KO'd. And then bottom decks a Hound Blaze and looks like a Great Eruptions. Passes it back to Rail Zero. Once again with 10 Dawn active, one life to two life here. Rail Zero just looking at a full board here. Uses the leader effect to cycle a card. Swings Sakazuki to Hina. Looks like it's countered out with Binu. Plays his own Binu, drawing three cards. What will he choose here? It looks like a Kuzan blocker for cost. He would then play his own Rebecca. Pulling some card from trash here. Looks like it's going to be an Aralucci being cycled back into his hand. Into a Hina. Into a Luchi. And who shall he KO? Cycling some cards back out. Pulling another... Uh, another... Kuzan pulling it back to bottom deck here. And KOs are Hina and Luchi. Passes back to Goron. Attaches Dawn, swinging to Hina. It is blocked by Rebecca. Hound blazes Hina. Brings it back to bottom deck, swinging in Binu. And is also countered out. Luchi is bottom deck with a Kuzan or Borsellino. And it goes back to rail zero. Binu swinging for five. Kills the Binu. Sorry, three. A great eruption for one. And then swinging Sakazuki to face. Is he going to counter or is he going to take the hit here? He does take the hit and is down to one life. Still on board is that big Kuzan and, or sorry, Barcelino and Rebecca that he has to get through. You see, it's, it's a Sakusuki effect. Discarding one and drawing again. Binu gets two Dawn attached and swinging to face for five. It is countered out. Borsalino is news and KOs the other Borsalino. Or bottom decks. And then is packs back to Goran. The board state just keeps flopping back and forth. All right, what's going to happen here? 
Are we gonna see another combination? On a Luchi combo coming up, maybe? Looking like a pretty close matchup here. It looks like we are reviewing each other's trash here. Looks like there's a slight card advantage for Goron here. Alright, here we go. We are swinging seven to face, minusing out the Borsalino. Four is being played for another Rebecca. Drawing a Luchi from Trash. Most likely going to Ehina. There it is. And into a Luchi. KOing the Borsalino. This looks like we're going to see this combo over and over. This is who can hit the most of them, I guess. Passes back to Rail Zero. Rail Zero looking at two Rebecca's, Ahina, and Luchi to deal with here. He might just have to go for game here, unfortunately, because that's a pretty spicy board we're looking at here. Has to get through two blockers, a life, and a final hit. Unless he can hit that combo again, I don't think he's going to survive another round here. So he has to really go for game here. All right, he's going for a great eruption. Minusing two out, most likely to the Rebecca here. I'll need to probably double hound blaze to get through those blockers. All right, I think he has to go for it here. He's just mapping out the dawn here. All right, he's gone for it. Here's another great eruption, cycling another card, hoping for something good. I think he has to go for it here. All right, here goes. He's searching for that final card. Hopefully something good. Unfortunately, no Helm Blaze. Has to really get through those blockers. He doesn't look happy. All right, looks like we are swinging first to face. It is blocked with a Rebecca. All right, we're hound blazing the second Rebecca. We got one swing left here, two swings left here. Hopefully, can eat through that last life and have just enough done to hit the face for the final hit. What is it? It's actually a trigger for Ice Age and bottom decks the Binu, and I think that is it. No more swingers and we hit that trigger. There's not many triggers, but he got it. So looks like his pack passed back. And I think that is the end. Swinging everything to Luchi and ends the game. There we go. Our 
our Malaysian champion moves on to the next round. We'll see you there.